What's up everybody, it is Keegan from the Kentucky Welding Institute and today we are gonna talk about why certifications are important in the welding industry. I'm sure you've seen it a lot on social media and in comment sections is you got that one guy that says, uh, you don't need certifications, I can just call my buddy and get on a job. Go be a helper, get on a job, you don't need to get certifications. Let's be truthful here, there is a little bit of truth in that. Um, and we'll get to that here in a second. But let's go over why certifications as a base are important. Some of you that are watching, you may not have any welding experience. You may not have a friend or a family member that's in the welding industry and you may have never welded in your life, okay? So those are three big problems that somebody like yourself might have before getting into the welding industry. Here at the Kentucky Welding Institute, we train you how to weld, but we also give you the American Welding Society certifications to go with each process and type of metal that you weld. If you're gonna learn how to weld, you want to have the certifications that go with it. You don't want to just get a piece of paper that says you can weld. These are usually called a certificate of completion and these don't hold up to anything in the welding industry. What you are looking for is an AWS certification through the American Welding Society. These certifications hold up in the industry, but some companies and contractors will still have you take a weld test at their facility, okay? As a person who is fresh out of welding school, you need every bit of help that you can get to get into the industry. So these AWS certifications prove that you can do something. So this person's out of welding school with no certifications. This person is out of welding school with certifications. Now who do you think an HR person is more likely to call? The person with the AWS certifications and other industry training certifications that prove that they can do something. So that's how we help students and welders get onto jobs, is by providing them American Welding Society certifications to get into the industry, as well as other certifications like OSHA 30, MSHA 24, Basic Plus, as well as an NCCER welder, boiler, and fitter maker training cards, as well as the NCCCO training cards as well, and a plethora of others. So with AWS certifications and other industry certifications, those help you get your foot into the door. So earlier I mentioned that there is a little bit of truth to you don't need certifications in the welding industry. And myself and a lot of other welders who have been welding in the industry for six plus years, we know the foremans, we know the plant managers, we know uh, the coordinators, we know everybody that's gonna be on a lot of jobs. Normally, we just call those guys up. So I could pick my phone up right now. Today is Wednesday. I can pick my phone up and be on a job somewhere in the country on Monday, okay? That's just because I've networked, tried to perfect my craft and welding to the best of my abilities. And also, I have just been a good person and willing to help out on the job site. So those three things have helped me to call foremans and company project managers and, and different individuals to get on jobs. They don't need to know that I have certifications um, and I still take a weld test for them. So the bottom line is this, if you're getting into the welding industry, you need certifications and that training to get your foot in the door if you don't have your foot in the door already. Let's say you do have your foot in the door these certifications and trainings will help you to look better than the rest and sometimes, we've seen it, get you more money on the hour, okay? So that's just more things to add to your book of qualifications that makes you a lot more valuable than a welder next to you who doesn't have anything. So that's what we're doing here. We are helping you get AWS certifications and industry training to help you get on those first couple of jobs and then once you're on those first couple of jobs, you network, you work hard, you weld good, and you build a name for yourself that allows you to go work anywhere at any point in time that you want. But you have to get on those jobs to make those connections and network. And these certifications will help you to get on those jobs versus somebody who doesn't have any. Hopefully this video has cleared up some confusion on whether you need certifications or are they right for you? 
I've seen it in my line of work, as well as when I got into the welding industry, that certification helped me get on so many jobs the first couple of years. And then after that, the skills and the practical things that I learned here at KWI helped me to stay on those jobs. If you like this video, check out more of our videos because we have a ton of videos on welding as well as past students coming in to brush up and also getting their opinion about what it's like to be in the welding industry. Check out our other social media links and we'll catch you on the next one.